All right, today's perfect to test this out because we've actually got a leak and I've been meaning to find something good because you can do a lot of things with these thermal cameras, including doing inspections for leaks and circuit breaker panels. This one is made by Teslong and they sent this over to review. So let's take a look. All right, so you can see here where it's kind of like light, there's is dry, but then as I go over, we've got this whole wall here that's got wet spots on it. So you can also cycle through different modes. So you can see that blue, that's gonna be where it's wet. There's a little bit more there. Uh, you can see it in this kind of mode here. Just different modes to help you kind of visualize where you might have water. You can also, when you close the screen, you can also look through this thing here. It's kind of... Okay, we're also in the unit on the other side and we can see there's a ton of moisture built up in the bottom corner there but it also looks like it's looks like it's coming up so we may have we may have this leak coming from even above we'll have to go check out another unit all right we came to the next floor up and it is definitely wet here as well and one cool thing i figured out with this is if i press this power button you see that laser i got a laser so i can show you exactly where i'm pointing it so i'm pointing the laser right around there and so if I keep pointing down, that's gonna tell us right where the moisture is. And we can see it's even concentrated kind of here. So we're actually gonna go up one more floor here. We're in an apartment building, but yeah, this is actually becoming very helpful. I love the laser on it. And this green mode seems really good. This is another pretty cool mode here. It's like a kind of a red mode, but still the moisture is show. Oh, so the, the cool is showing up. The water is cooler. That mode is pretty good too. It's showing up as white and everything else is dark around it. But yeah, we need to go up one more level here. So we're on the next level and we're just double checking, but it looks like everything is dry here according to two different sources. We have a manual moisture meter and then we have, you got a little bit of something there? Yes, one. I don't know if that's, one is not probably anything. Yeah. So it's either very little up here to none, but my guess is it's on the floor below here. We're gonna go back down. That's probably where we need to start. You got both. You got both pipes there? Yeah. Oh man, that's amazing. We got it on the first cut. All right, in the second hole, there it is. There's our leak spraying straight down. So you can see how we use that thermal camera and some other tools in order to kind of locate these leaks behind the wall. So here we got a temporary clamp on the pipe. We're gonna end up having to shut the water off for this tier uh, and replace and this T and the 45 that and goes then, back uh, in the wall, that half inch line yeah, there. Half inch. But so that will be another day. So we've got our fans set up and we'll continue to use thermal imaging and, and pin detectors and uh, it'll tell us when this whole wall dries out. You can see that all of that dark is gonna be wet. Yeah, this is a good mode too for moisture detection. See back there. I really do like the, the laser feature. It's very nice. It has quite the range on it too. It's very good at long range, and I can even zoom in. That's a 2x zoom. I'll zoom in even more, and it'll zoom back out. So that's pretty cool. So this is directly beneath the unit uh, that had the leak right around there. So we've already opened up on the other side of the wall. Looks like it's still a little wet here. We may need to come and pull some baseboard off, um, uh, but we'll monitor it, check it tomorrow, and see how, how it dries out. Another thing you can use these uh, thermal cameras is going to be for inspections on like circuit breakers and looking for hot spots and things like this. So we can see over here, we've got a hot spot on this one, which is for some fans or something like that. So it might be something to go in and tighten up or check out. You can see these uh, meter banks here behind me. You can see all the heat being generated by the electrical current going through them. We've got main switch gear over here looks like we mainly have two breakers on in this panel here looks like with the laser i can tell it's circuit 15 
which is going to be your uh, lobby lights. So that's pretty cool, you can tell. And then if we take off the panel, we'd be able to tell a lot more information. Uh, all right, so you get the nice case, you get a charger, you get a little adjustment dial, everything fits neatly in here. And I like that it has a carabiner clip because I was like clipping this on my side here. Uh, you also have a user's manual and a user's manual here. I'm gonna try to download some of this footage now and see if I can include it in the video from what I took a, a, a video. Well, that's pretty cool. I was able to just plug it into my computer and I got the file here. So I'm gonna send this file and I'll include it in the video so you can see. Doesn't look like it has audio. Yeah, so this is some of the footage that I recorded. So this would be good. You could take this and you could send it to a customer or you could just keep it for your records. Uh, pretty easy to get off the computer, to be honest. I like that you don't have to deal with SD card. You just plug this thing in with the included cable and it's able to transfer data. This uh, file, 30 seconds, uh, was about 8 megabytes, so not a crazy uh, size as well. So very cool. If you're looking to get into one of these things, um, be sure to uh, either tap in the video or uh, I'll leave something down below so you can take a look.